Wars only. It should be called Star Wars simply. He's got a lot of shitty points. Star Wars only? I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Today, my fellow Star Wars fans, we sadly have to look at one of those rumors that is going around in the fandom, and it's misleading a lot of our fellow Star Wars fans. Now, what is this rumor going around? It's that the reason Disney does not use the original trilogy content in the New Galaxy's Edge theme park, and why they're moving away from the original Star Wars films and killing off the characters, is because Lucas still owns those films and licenses them out to Disney. And Lucas, George Lucas himself, gets a 25% cut of any Star Wars merchandise that Disney sells that has his original characters in it. These people who are starting these rumors are saying that is why Disney is moving away from the older Star Wars films that Lucas created is so that Disney does not have to give him a cut of the profits. Now this rumor is mainly coming from two different YouTube channels who say they have inside sources that gave them this information. Nerd Roddick, I believe is how you say his name, says he's got the inside information from multiple sources involved with Star Wars. The other channel is Overlord DVD, who says his inside source has ties to Lucasfilm. Both of these channels claim that Lucas still owns a piece of the pie in Star Wars and gets that 25% cut when they use his characters. Now, I would like to personally break down each of these claims and tell you why they're complete and utter rancor shit. Uh, Nerd Roddick posted the messages he received from his inside source. Let's go ahead and read these messages. Well, Gary, I have Star Wars news. I know why they could not use the originals as its base for the sequel trilogy. They didn't buy them. Lucas still owns the originals, and they license from him. The implications of this is huge, and that is because that is why Disney has not put out a despecialized edition and has been trying to kill off original characters and the Galaxy's Edge drama. This comes from my guy at probably, probably Lucasfilm. And then he goes on to say, now you can say this is 100% solid, just don't mention where this is from. You can also say this, Disney was warned by Lucas not to go the route they were. Lucas would have still gotten like 20 or 25% of original character or original lightsaber residuals. They were not having this. This last one's a big one. It says, I think they bought the rights to all future Star Wars, but the past stuff is owned by Lucas. Want to be clear, they are actively talking about buying it from Lucas. Now let me show you every red flag in these messages that prove these sources are full of shit. The first message says that Lucas licensed the original Star Wars to Disney and that Disney did not buy them. Now I don't know about you, but if you recall back in the year 2012, Disney bought Lucasfilm for $4 billion. Now I could probably end the video right here, but there's so many lies that are being spread right now that I just can't. I, I literally have to break down everything else. The second claim is an even worse lie. The source says that the reason Disney can't release the despecialized editions is because Lucas still owns them. And I honestly covered this like, what, a few weeks ago? I covered this topic in a recent video called George Lucas Still Has Power in Star Wars. And in that video, I explained that Kathleen Kennedy and Disney will not release the unaltered films because they are respecting the wishes of George Lucas. Even Pablo Hidalgo has confirmed this in the past. The second picture Nerd Roddick shows said that this information is 100% solid. And the third one says that Disney is actively looking to buy the rest of the rights to Star Wars. Well, I, Star Wars only, can tell you that this is all 100% bullshit. First of all, the idea that they're moving away from the original trilogy because they don't want to pay Lucas for using his characters is hard to believe when the name of the next movie is Rise of Skywalker. Come on, like, they're moving away from the original trilogy, but they're gonna call the last film in this episodic story that we have, The Rise of Skywalker. Is he gonna get 25% of the cut for the box office? Is that how that's gonna work? Please tell me, Mr. Insider. If Disney doesn't want Lucas getting a piece of the pie, and they don't want the original trilogy content being at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and they're so very anti-original trilogy over there at Disney, then why the hell at the opening of Galaxy's Edge did I see the CEO of Disney, Bob Iger, standing next to George Lucas, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Lando? Was I the only one who noticed the original trilogy cast and the creator of Star Wars on stage? Or was it just the death sticks? So today I took the time to actually go talk to an intellectual property lawyer and ask him for clarity on the situation that we have, and here's what he had to say. That is going to be a tough one to answer, since the terms of the contract like that are generally under a non-disclosure agreement and known only to the parties. Most likely, as part of the $4 billion purchase that Disney made, they would have let him keep the lifetime royalties from the earlier movies, but blocked him out from anything made by Disney going forward, including the toys, which is one of the most lucrative aspects of the Star Wars franchise. Also, there is enough articles to support he has only made funds related to the newer movies as a consultant only. 
And I'm happy to say that he confirmed my suspicion that this bullshit rumor is bullshit. The deal with Lucas selling Star Wars to Disney was back in 2012. Who is this inside source that was allowed to read the terms of the deal? And is no one going to mention that they're breaking the non-disclosure agreement that these kind of major deals have? Is, is that not like a violation of it? But the only people who really know the inner workings of this deal is George Lucas, his lawyers, and Disney, and their lawyers. Also, the whole inside source that's saying that they have someone at Lucasfilm that, you know, knows the terms of this deal is also bullshit. There's no one at Lucasfilm who has the legal authority to read this contract and the terms of this deal. And also, the people at Lucasfilm weren't privy to this information even back in 2012 when Lucas was thinking about selling the franchise. Before he even sold it to Disney, no one at Lucasfilm knew this was happening. Lucas kept this very secret. This took a long time to do because there's a lot of lawyers that get involved. But make no mistake, there's no doubt that Disney fully owns the rights to Star Wars. Lucas was paid $4 billion. There's no way they would have paid him all that money and not get the rights to the original films or even the prequels. Now, if you're wondering if Lucas does get any royalties from Star Wars, the answer is yes, but not at 25%, and I doubt even over like 1 or 2%. I mean, that would just be ridiculous in terms of money. Uh, George actually has something called the Minimum Basic Agreement, which is something that is from the writer Guilds of America, and George is entitled to royalties for the use of his characters, but these mostly have to do with the creative consultant credits that he gets in the new films, like the lawyer that I reached out to said. He gets royalties from those old movies because he, yes, made them, but anything post-Disney, anything after 2012 that Disney's making, all that money is going to the pocket of Disney, not Lucas. A lot of people will claim that they have inside sources, but they're really being trolled, or they are trolls themselves. And I myself do have inside sources who have been on set of Episode 9, and some who have actually been in Episode 9. I also have a supposed inside connection to Lucasfilm. But do I tell you about the inside scoops that those people send me and all the stuff that I get? No. You wanna know why? Because I don't trust all of them. And even the ones that I do trust, the information they get me isn't really ready to be revealed, or is it worth revealing? Shit, I even learned some dirt on the Lucas family when I was at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago earlier this year. Now you may be wondering if I'm telling the truth on all this, because it's pretty easy to make these vague claims and run them off as news. People like to be cool and say they got an inside guy or something when they really don't. You know, they like that. They'd be like, hey man, I got an inside guy at Lucasfilm. Yeah, he told me some, uh... Tell me some pretty cool stuff. You know, I can't say anything. I can't say anything because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble, but... Yeah, man, I got some inside stuff, you know? All that for a drop of clout, guys. Like, really? And yes, I do get inside stuff myself. Like, I'm not exaggerating, but I'm not gonna tell you about it unless I'm 110% sure it's factual and I won't get in trouble for it because earlier this year, Lucasfilm lawyers got involved and showed up at a house over a leak. And I'm not trying to get caught red-handed with my death sticks by these fuckers. So do me a favor, my fellow Star Wars fans. Don't believe everything you see or hear on the internet just because you don't like the new Disney Star Wars doesn't mean it's part of some grand conspiracy to avoid paying Lucas a cut of the profits. Now, I'm not upset at the channels that are spreading this rumor and talking about these kind of things. I just would caution my fellow YouTubers that spreading fake rumors like this can still create a bad perception among the fandom. And saying take it with a grain of salt or it's just a rumor doesn't really fix it either. You're still spreading this fake information and saying that you have an inside source. I mean, how do you have an inside source to verify information, but then you're going to say it's a rumor and take it with a grain of salt? Either stand by your source's information or do not. You can't flip-flop on that. It's such an easy scapegoat out of actually being held accountable for what you're saying, of simply saying, oh, well, you know, it's take it with a grain of salt. It's just a rumor. No, no. Stand by the information you're getting or don't. don't you can't pick and choose on that shit. So, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed that fans are believing this stuff. I'm kind of annoyed fans are spreading this stuff because it's so obviously fake. I mean, come on. The Despecialized Edition thing was, like, the biggest red flag from the start. That's, like, such a common Star Wars fan knowledge that I'm baffled anyone took this report seriously or, like, it was factually true or anything. It was obviously one of the most fake rumors I've ever seen in the Star Wars fandom. But, hey, fake news is running rampant on both sides nowadays. Little did you know. But tell me your thoughts below, guys. I'd love to hear your comments on this. I'm Star Wars Only. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all next time, and may the Force be with you, always.